Well, this is it, the final episode of the Liquid in Resin series. I've got to admit, I'm going to be a little sad to see this series end. We had a lot of fails, a lot of fun, and a lot of laughs. I really hope I don't cut too deep. Look at that, this thing is... Oh! So the bottom's still a bit soft, but the tip's really hard. I'm just hoping I've got my ball in deep enough. Before we start this last episode, I thought it might be nice to take a quick trip down memory lane. Now it all started with the original Ice in Resin video. Now that video has had nearly 3.5 million views. And since then, we've done the jellyfish ice cube, we've injected water into resin, we then did the dry ice experiments, then we cast our first balloon with water, and then we took what we learned with that and made this balloon with water, and finally we made the snow globe, and earlier this week, we did the oil in resin experiment. Now I had a heap of fun making all these projects, but the one I enjoyed the most was the snow globe. So I think that's the one we're gonna try again today, and I'm gonna take everything I've learned out of making all these projects and put it together, and hopefully we can make a snow globe that looks pretty cool. So my process to make this one will be to use a water balloon for my void. I've got myself a casting container. Now instead of using water or cooking oil, I've got myself some paraffin oil. Now I've done a little bit of testing and I think this one should work the best. I've also got myself some glitter and some colouring, so by the time I put that in, it should look nice and pretty. Now the first thing I need to do is fill up my water balloon and I'm just going to do that with some water. Now that my balloon's full, the next step is to glue it down to the bottom of the container and I'm going to do that with some 5 minute epoxy. So all I'm going to do with this is apply it to the bottom of the balloon and then stick it in the container. I just got it as close to center as possible and now I'll just wait for it to set. Now that that's dry, we can move on and prepare our resin. And just like the previous videos, we'll be using Artcast. I'd love to be able to cure this inside the pressure pot, but we know that the pressure will distort the balloon, so we're going to have to do the next best thing and just degas the resin. That way it'll still look pretty clear. So we now have our clear resin, but I'm not going to pour it in straight away. Since our balloon is fairly buoyant, it's going to want to pull at that base. So if I wait for this to heat up a little bit, that way it'll take less time for the resin to cure, and hopefully the balloon will stay in place. Now there is one thing I want to do before we pour the resin, and that is spray some mold release. Okay, I think we're nearly ready to go. Well, I think that looks pretty good. If that stays like that and cures, I think we'll have a great snow globe. It's now the next day and our resin has gone hard as a rock. So the next thing I need to do is get this out of the container and get the balloon out. Now, just in case this balloon pops as I'm pulling it out, I'm gonna do it on this tray. <laughs> well, that was pretty cool, didn't pop. So the next thing I need to do is drill myself a hole in the center here. Now there's a reason for this size hole that I'm drilling and I'll explain more about that later.
Can you believe I just drilled that hole and I managed to not puncture the balloon? In all my other water videos, I avoided getting squirted on, but you know what? I think this time, I don't have a choice. Actually, that wasn't too bad. I thought that was going to squirt up all over my face. Now, I was kind of hoping that this little bit at the end here didn't break off. It might be a bit more difficult to get this out now. Well, I didn't anticipate the balloon breaking up into these little pieces. Well, that's a bit of a pain. I guess the heat from the resin while it was curing has compromised the latex of the balloon. So it looks like I've either got to use a solvent maybe to try and dissolve it and get it out, or just keep picking at it. It's been about 20 minutes and I've gotten all the balloon out. I ended up just using a paddle pop stick and scraping down the sides. So now that that's all out, the next thing I need to do is glue this to a waste block and we can turn it on the lathe. Since I'm trying to turn this into a really nice snow globe, I'm going to put some reference marks on here, just so I know where to turn. Now it's time to sand and polish. I've now got the resin all sanded and polished, but before we fill it with oil, I need to make myself a base.
So now that I've finished building the base, we can start filling this with oil. Now remember I said I drilled this hole big for a reason? Well this is why. We're going to stick Woody inside. Now my plan for this will be to cut the base off Woody, then I'm going to stick his feet to a piece of this perspex, then I'm going to shape the perspex to fit the base here, and then once we're ready to put the oil in, we can just glue our base on and it'll seal it all in. So I've just been checking the trial fitment of Woody, and unfortunately it just sits a bit too low. So we're going to have to scrap this perspex idea, but I do have something else. I've got this little barrel of monkeys, and this lid here will work perfect. It'll actually create a nice seal in the bottom there, and Woody can sit on top. While I'm waiting for Woody to dry on the barrel, I'm going to make up my oil mixture. Now that Woody's all dry, it's time to fill it up. Now I'm really not too sure how much to put in. All I do know is that I want it really full. I want as minimal air as possible. Okay, we definitely need more than that. That's looking really close. I think we just need a little bit more. I think that's it. That looks pretty good. Now all I have to do is put a bit of five minute epoxy around here just to seal it up. Before we see this final reveal, I just wanted to ask you guys if you enjoyed this liquid in resin series, and if you did, let me know by hitting that thumbs up button. Now I do have plans to make another series, it's actually one that I started about 3 years ago, I filmed a couple of episodes and then I dropped off a little bit, but I'm thinking about starting that one back up again, but if you guys have any suggestions of what you'd like to see, let me know in the comments. Well that's enough of me talking, let's check out this woody snow globe.